Hi, I'm Gail and welcome back to Low Carb Recipe Ideas. Today we're going to make spaghetti squash latkes. I got the recipe from the Wheat Belly cookbook and I wanted to give it a try and share it with you to get your thoughts on it. Anyhow, let's get started. So the first thing I did was I cut the uh, spaghetti squash in half and it is actually quite a chore to cut it in half. Um, you, 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 there is a couple of options that you can do is cut it in half and clean out the seeds like I'm doing here already. I already worked on some of it so that it won't take so long in the video. Just so you have an idea as to of how you do it. Um, but the other option is that you can put, you know, pierce a whole spaghetti squash through the outside, like pierce the whole thing and then just put it in the oven and bake it at 350 for approximately an hour. So I like better cutting mine in half and taking it out. And once I've got it all cleaned out, we will place it in a glass dish upside down in some water. So this one I've already done, so that's nice and quick. So we'll just slide this over, bring in my, my um, Pyrex dish. I've put about an inch of water in the bottom and I'm just going to turn them upside down. And then I'm going to put them in the oven like this in the middle rack for at 350 for approximately an hour and um, it should be all cooked through. So my spaghetti uh, squash has cooled down and now what I'm doing is I'm going to just take my fork and you just scrape along and you're going to find that your spaghetti goes into your squash goes into like little spaghetti strings so I'll continue doing this till I have it all cleaned out and we'll go with the next step for our spaghetti squash lat case There we go. This is the second half of the spaghetti squash. It's quite interesting how it comes out all stringy. There we go. So we're going to set this aside and we will continue on with the next step of making our spaghetti squash latkes. Now since I have all my spaghetti squash cooked and out of the shell, we need to soak up some of the moisture. There's a lot of moisture in it and I've already I put a double layer of paper towel on. I'm just taking sections of the, the um, spaghetti squash because there's so much and, and, and there is a lot of moisture so just press it down. That's all you need to do. I'll turn it over just to get some more moisture out of it and we'll just keep adding some paper towel to try and um, get all the moisture out because that helps it stay together like you're adding eggs and stuff to it but getting the moisture out helps make the latke stay together and um, they're just a lovely um, add-on to your meal so I'll continue doing this to all of my my spaghetti squash and we'll be back with the next step So now I have most of the uh, moisture out of the spaghetti squash which will help keep the um, latkes together. So the first thing I need is I need two eggs. So we're going to crack up a couple of eggs and I drop the little egg shell in there. So i got to get it out. And I'm just going to beat that up. Okay, now we're going to add a half a teaspoon of sea salt, quarter of a teaspoon of pepper, and I'm going to add a, a tablespoon of flaxseed meal. Now I'm using dark. You can use the light. I just happen to have some dark already ground up, so that's what I'm using. And we're going to use um, two tablespoons of coconut flour. I'm going to 
mix that all up. Now I'm just going to get rid of the whisker. I find a spoon works better when I do the rest of the process. So I cut up three, three scallion, or sorry, three um, green onions. Now you can use the scallions. I took this recipe from the Wheat Belly, the Wheat Belly cookbook. It's very good. They're using scallions, but uh, I'm going to use the green onions. It also gives it some color also. So now we're going to add in our three cups of spaghetti squash. And we're just going to mix this all up. There, that looks like it's mixed up well enough. Now what we want to do is we want to take approximately a third of a cup for each latke. So we'll just kind of measure it. Your hands are going to get a little gooey. So that's about a third. Well, it is a third. And then we're just going to take them and we're going to make the patties. And something that I found also is if I take and just put some paper towel over top and just press it down a little bit to help get rid of some of the moisture, it works so much easier. So I'll continue doing this and I'll be back with you when I've got them all put together. Now I find they still have a bit of moisture. I've taken a third of a cup, I made little patties and I just I just want to soak up a little wee bit more because I just want to make sure that they they all stay together when I'm when I'm cooking them because I have tried doing them and they've fallen apart on me um, the other way so if you just take a little bit of moisture out of them again they do stay together quite nicely in the frying pan and then you have some really nice latke so I'll just continue doing that and um, we'll be ready to cook them so I've turned my frying pan on high and I'm adding some coconut oil, two tablespoons, and I'm going to let that melt and then we're going to fry up these um, spaghetti squash latkes once the uh, oil gets melted here and gets hot enough. Now my coconut oil is melted, I'm just going to turn it down a little bit and we're going to add in our spaghetti squash latke cakes. And I just recommend, it depends on your, your frying pan also, now I have a smaller frying pan, I'm going to do them in batches, so I'm going to do three at a time, that way I know they're going to stay nice together and, and they cook approximately four minutes on each side. So I'll come back and flip it over once we get one part of it cooked. So I have the timer on for four minutes and, and I find it easier just to put the timer on because four minutes does do the trick and see how nice and brown they are. So we'll put it on for another four minutes and then we'll have that batch done and then we'll continue doing the rest. And I might possibly have to add some more coconut oil, um, but I still have quite a bit in there so I probably won't need it. But I'll keep on working on making these uh, spaghetti squash latkes. So my first batch is done. I'm going to add a little bit more coconut oil because it did heat a little bit of it up. So we'll put in another tablespoon and um, do the next batch. And I'll continue cooking. Well, my product is all done. We've got our, our um, spaghetti squash latkes. And I just wanted to point out that um, I used coconut oil and I use the organic coconut oil. It's very good. You can get it at Costco. It's quite reasonable, but um, here are our latkes, our little cakes. They're a good substitution for potatoes, and I'm sure you're really going to enjoy them. I just put a little bit of salt and pepper on them when I'm ready to eat them, and they're delicious. And you can make them with scallions. I made these ones with the green onions, but the scallions also work well too. So you take care. Um, check out my blog, lowcarbrecipeideas.com. Check out some of the other recipes, and we will see you in the next video. Bye now.